Welcome. Welcome to the start here. This, if you will, is an introduction to the section and learning how to uh, build your Unicity business, how to grow and thrive and operate in an authentic, predictable, sustainable, genuine way, being a real person that delivers real results through real products from which flows a real business. There are five categories here that we'll go through, and as you can see, steps one through five. I'll give you a brief intro to them all here, then slightly expanded in each of those steps, one through five, and then more depth on each of those, and variations of instruction are found in how we do things around here section, which is the next section in the website. But first, there are five basic steps, five, not ten, five basic steps to what we do. Everything you do should fall into one of these five, and they operate in some sort of sequence, and then they sort of circle back around, and as you see, they'll make a lot of sense. And just to help with mnemonics and memory work, they all start with I. In fact, they all start with N, because they're designed to help you get in, stay in, be in, not just actually, after filling in a form or pushing enter, but emotionally and systemically and in a way that gets you into unicity and therefore unicity into you. Number one is inspire. It's about goals and vision. What are they and what are you doing? Inspiration should be, here's another N word, intrinsic. This is something that drives you when those days aren't quite as good. It's something that pushes you through that, uh, those darker days. Number two is invite. This breaks into two categories. One is to make the list. As you'll learn, it's a list of who knows me. And then, number two, using that list to extend invitations and using the five C's to frame those invitations in a way that maximizes their receptiveness and your opportunity there. Number three, inform. After the invitation is extended, conversation and questions begin. That's when the real informing takes place, where you answer questions and guide people in, in the direction that they want to go based on their directions and where you think it should go based on your listening to them and taking it from there. Number four, involve. After people are informed, they want to get involved. They want to join with you. They want to do something. So what does that look like? Mostly, that's about a getting started or strategy session and involving them in a positive way, starting well so they continue. How we continue is a function of how we start. So becoming involved the right way at the right time is critical. And the last is invest. Well, investing is about ROI, return on investment. And investment takes place, so a return ensues. Now, you're investing yourself in your new people. You're investing your time and effort in them. They're investing in you and your expertise and your reputation. That's a mutual investment process. Frame that well. Make it so there's a return for both of you in that regard. And then likewise, as this site is designed to do, invest in yourself. You are the primary asset. Make sure you're growing your value, your skill set, your knowledge, your energy levels such that your return likewise goes up. So inspire, invite, inform, involve, and invest. Those are the five steps that we engage in. There's all sorts of activities below that. They're covered later. And we'll drill down on each of these subjects a little bit later on in this section. But think of those as the activities you engage in, the philosophical pillars under which you go to work. More detail is here, and then more detail again is in the how we do things around here section.